Oh, well, hello. I'm super excited that you decided to click on this. I was sitting in a this really wonderful full moon online group and we got to the point where we were doing prompts and the facilitator had done maybe two or three prompts and I was blank. I was, nothing was coming to me, which has never happened. I'm a writer. I can always, even bad prompts, and these were really good prompts. I can always write something, but I literally was just staring at my journal blank. And then the prompt came up of, this is what my most primal self wants me to know right now. And the first thing that popped in my head was, fuck around and find out, Deidre. And not in the sense of, yeah, I'm Gen X, and we always say, fuck around and find out for people who are moving in the world that's not very self-aware. It wasn't in that sense. It was really in a sense of stop playing small, Deidre. Fuck around and find out, like step into life. So I totally understood why my most primal self would say that. So fast forward a couple days, I was about to sit to do my own daily meditation. This was going to be one in which I did my chakra care. And I just kept hearing that voice of like, fuck around and find out. And it made me laugh. And I, and throughout the meditation, I was thinking things as I was clearing my chakras that I don't normally think. And that's where this particular offering is coming from. So it's definitely not for everyone. You're a super serious spiritual person. It's the, not for you. This is also, it's a largely visualization process. It really is for those that can expand and engage their imaginations during spiritual sits. And you're guided by me, a deeply spiritual, deeply authentic Sag Sun. I'm made mostly of fire and air elements. So engage using your own discernment. This is not going to be for everyone. With that said, let's go ahead and get settled. Getting settled might mean that your candles, your incense, or nothing doesn't necessarily matter. You can sit or lay down however you like. I believe that intention is more powerful than any necessary positioning of your embodiment. At least for this, that might not be true for other spiritual situations, but for this, I think the biggest thing is what feels at ease for you to be or do at this moment. Get settled. And we're gonna ground whatever your body is in contact with. If you're laying in a bed, if you're sitting in a chair, on a blanket, I want you to visualize actually grounding that from the north, the south, the east, and the west points and ground it however grounding works for you, whether you visualize roots, cables, stalks, whatever, but do visualize that and then go ahead and visualize grounding the room that you're in. If you're outside, you can also just visualize your feet from you from the north, south, east, and west point again, ground, just intentionally ground that space. And the goal here is just to create an energetic container because what we're about to do it, it's something that I've done often it's quite fun but it is a little bit toward the end of this it's a little bit of cosmic spiraling or rather cosmic portaling <laughs> in the sense that we're in a spiral we can move through the cosmos through going in we don't necessarily have to go out we're going to go in to go up and out and it just becomes my experience is it's just really important to ground where you are so that you can come back in and then be present here in this embodiment. So let those roots connect with the earth and ground. Next, ground yourself. For me, grounding myself means actually visualizing my grounding cord coming from the base of my spine and dropping down into the earth. When I first started doing this, it was very helpful for me to visualize almost like a socket. And my grounding cord was the plug and there was a spot in the earth that the earth created just for me, sort of plug into that socket. For many of us, you could feel you feel that that beautiful the the gravity of that like the holding it's holding you 
do whatever works for you to just feel yourself be grounded. Next, we're going to visualize our auric field. You want to have enough space for your energy to flow and not feel cramped. So think about like two, two and a half feet out from your body, if it's helpful for visualizers. Think about holding your arm out to the side and where your fingertips are, that's your auric field. That's what it's going to, and it's circular and it's going to wrap around you. And I want you to visualize your auric field, visualize the entirety of it, that entire bubble circle, perfect circumference circle around your entire body. Visualize behind you, check for any holes. If you see holes, just visualize it closing. It is enough to visualize it closing and believe that that's what's happening. And when you believe it, so it is check the bottom of your feet as well and just give a visual sight around the entire bubble the entire circle all the way around next we're going to clean the inside of that auric field and you're going to visualize whatever tool makes sense for you and it literally can be anything i'm a writer for years i've been using the visual of an old school style fountain pen feather on the tip and I drop that in inside my aura field and give it the intention to clean around while I'm now visualizing the outside layer of my auric field. I'm giving it whatever colors I want to give it, any cleansing. If I feel like I need to pull off some old layers, I'm going to pull off some old layers. I'm careful to not pull too many layers at any particular sitting. I sense it. What is it that my entire embodiment my energetic and my physical self wants and then for me i also fortify the outside layer of my org field at the north south east and west point and i use a rose i think about a rose at north south east and west if you're new to this you could just put whatever some people might want to use the visual of a, a chess piece, so the queen of a chess piece or a rook or whatever. You might visualize a teddy bear. I don't know, whatever works for you, visualize that. Place it at north, south, east, west. If you've done this before, take the old one out and visualize it coming up and off of your auric field and explode that into gold and offer it back to the universe for the universe to use that energy as it sees fit. And what this does for me is that when I'm out in the world, particularly after doing your cleansing like this, anything that comes at me, those positionings of my north, south, east, and west roses are going to take energy that's not meant for me or any energy that I am not intentionally accepting. I'm going to go to those points. Bring your attention back to the instrument you visualize to clear and clean the inside of your auric field. Close that out with the intention that it has swept through above your head, below your feet, at your sides, the entire area inside your auric field. Go ahead and take that apparatus that you've been using to cleanse the inside of your auric field. Visualize it moving to the outside of the outer layer of your auric field and explode that into gold. Gold speckles like fireworks, but fireworks that are not bad for the environment yeah, and explode that and release that energy to the universe and let the universe use it as it sees fit. Next, I'm going to visualize growing branches from my crown chakra. These branches can be whatever your visualization method is or what you're ready to visualize. I literally visualize branches like from the tree. I think of my embodiment as the trunk and the branches coming from my crown are coming out of the trunk like with a tree. Visualize growing these branches out of your crown. I mentioned this is a spiritual sit for folks who do this more regularly. I imagine when I say soul star chakra, most of you are going to understand what I'm saying. You're going to visualize these branches actually going through your soul star chakra, the next chakra above your crown and I want you to visualize your branches going through 
that, not around it. I want to be intentional. Visualize it going through it, not forcefully, but in union, just going through. And your own crown chakra is connecting with your soul star, and it's going through that. And keep visualizing those branches going up, 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 up into the sky, up into the clouds, up into the higher atmosphere. And it's just going to start spinning, spiraling, shooting through to either what you consider to be your home planet or source, whichever feels more aligned for you in this moment. And you're not connected to that. Let it connect, visualize it, see it, and then start asking for it to give you whatever energy it is that you need in this moment, on this day, at this time. For me, often it's love. It's just unconditional love and I can feel it. Sometimes it comes down as a color. Often it comes down as a color. And I pay attention to what my imagination, what color my imagination has brought to me because that's the color that I need. It's also going to give me an idea of which chakra I might need to spend a little bit more time with based on the color. So let that energy come through down your branches, down your branches, down your branches, through the soul star. It's going to feed your soul star just to give it some energy of what it needs. It's going to allow it to feed your sense of divine love, spiritual compassion, intuition, spiritual selflessness, and it's going to come down through that and then into your crown once you visualize it coming into your crown this is when we're going to start dropping in we're going to use our breath to really start dropping this energy down and into our energetic centers i want you to start breathing with intention breathing in this beautiful energy that either your source or your home planet is sending you and as you're breathing it in, you're visualizing this breath just going through your body into the top of your head. As this energy moves in and down your embodiment, you're going to hold the intention that it's helping you release any definitions, beliefs, and behaviors. This could include emotions, energy, and thought forms that are not aligned with your highest self's desires and your soul's unique journey here and now you're going to keep that intention as you're breathing in breathing energy in breathing out any definitions beliefs and behaviors that are not aligned with what you are seeking to hold and be keep breathing as you visualize and sense and feel this breath going through your head, down past your ears and your forehead, your lips, your mouth, your chin, the back of your head, the back of your neck, down the front of your neck, down to your shoulders. That breath is coming in. And when my visualization gets to my shoulders, pause a little bit to Make sure that I'm truly directing it down the front sides, back of my shoulders, and down my arms, into my elbows, down my forearms, down my fingers, and shooting out my fingers. This beautiful cosmic energy either from my home planet or source now is coming out my fingertips and it's feeding the inside of my auric field as well sparkling it up <laughs> you know loving on me right and then i go back to the rest of my body and really visualizing it coming down my chest my back all the way down across my breasts my, my mid back my lower back into my belly Moving it down my hips, pelvic area, thighs, and strings, knees, calves, shins, moving it down, moving it down. And again, breathing in this beautiful energy, breathing out all that does not serve me. Definitions, beliefs, and behaviors that are not aligned with my highest self purpose and plan my soul's journey 
all the stuff that this construct gives us to make us forget, to make us numb, to make us not understand how amazing, wonderful, and beautiful we are. We're releasing that shit, letting it go. You ain't gotta go home, but you can't stay here kind of thing, right? Get the fuck out. Moving that through, coming down. Now it's reached my ankles, my feet, my toes, my entire feet. That love from source or from my home planet is now in my entire embodied. It is at this point that I'm going to start visualizing growing roots from the bottom of my feet. Remember I said, I like to think of myself. I am of earth. Earth is of me. I am like a tree. My body is the chunk. Now my roots come from this visualization. This is energetic, just as powerful as the physical. And so I'm visualizing roots growing from the bottom of my feet. Now for you, it could be how it could be a cable. Sometimes I do think about like the Golden Gate Bridge and those huge cables that hold the Golden Gate Bridge. Sometimes I see that and it could be, you're going to see whatever makes sense for you. I feel like the more I've done this over the years, the more sturdier those roots have become. When I first started, I had to do a lot of work to thicken my roots up. And that's okay if that's where you are as well. Okay. But visualize those roots coming out the soles of your feet and you're moving down. Those roots are growing, 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 going through the room that you're in, into the earth, through the ground that we see and then the ground that we don't see underneath cement or grass or desert sand and it's just starting to flow down. So at this point, usually, not always, I will ask permission. Earth knows and I'm hanging out and I'll say, Earth, can I get connected? And it always brings a smile to my face during meditation, which I love. And sometimes I'll play with that, like go back and forth with my, in my imagination about this dialogue with Earth about connecting and where I'm going to connect and how deep I get to go and all that kind of stuff. Do that, but you want to connect. You want to get to a point where you feel your roots lock in. So roots are locked in. Thank you, Earth. Now Earth is going to start sending its energy, right? And it's almost, it's like, a, this is reciprocity. As Earth is sending energy up in to cleanse me, I am sending energy back to the Earth of all the stuff that I don't need. That has accumulated why I'm doing uh, my energetic cleanse, because that's, it's just part of the process. And when this current, in this current timeline, we got so much shit that comes at us. <laughs> you know, especially this is for those of us who are, we know we are empaths. We know we are healing healers. We know we came here. We carry, we got some wounds that were meant to, we were meant to move through and heal or be in healing from so that we could support others. And so that comes with the choice to clear that stuff up and that energy can get thick. And so we're giving that to the earth. The earth can use that to recycle it and rejuvenate and use it as the earth sees fit. So there's an exchange here. Earth is now sending this energy up. Visualize it coming up your roots. And as this energy is coming up our roots, before it actually gets to the bottom of our feet, we want to think about our earth star chakra it's a, a few inches beneath your your feet it aligns you with the magnetic core of the earth and so as you're visualizing this energy coming up from your roots same thing as i said with the soul star you want to visualize this coming up and through not in force it's not in power over it is in power with so your roots are moving through with ease love and compassion through your earth star and bringing with it that earth energy to help clean cleanse magnify ignite your earth star it is your personal link to earth's life force and divine light contained within the earth. Visualize that, what, whatever that might look like for you. Some folks believe that earth star is, in terms of color, is a magenta. 
in color when it's activated and cleansed and cleared. So feel free to visualize that. The roots are gonna keep coming out and back into the soles of your feet. So once you see and, and are visualizing that energy get to the soles of your feet, then start visualizing and sensing, feeling, fostering that energy coming up through your feet, bottoms of your feet, tops of your feet, ankles. Breathing, breathing it in and breathing out what you don't want to hold, what is not serving you, what is taking away from your alignment to your highest vibration, to the highest frequency that you've obtained that you want to generate. And have that energy come up in up your legs, your knees, your thighs. Now we're going to get to the chakras. It's coming up. It's at your pelvic floor. And now we're at the root chakra. What I'm going to ask you to do is at each chakra, we're going to take three intentional breaths at each chakra to pull in earth energy. And on the exhale, the intention is to release all that which does not serve us. I'm going to talk through some of the things that I think about at each chakra. You're going to listen and just do your breaths and release. If there are other things that come to you at each chakra, then you sit with that. My intention is to walk you through this now so that you can then do this on your own. You don't need to do it in a guided way with me. Okay. So three breaths in, we're at our root chakra. I exist. I exist. I am sheer. I am sheer. I am a being. I am human. I am here to experience being human. I am here. I exist. In this existence, I experience stability. I experience security. I experience safety. In this embodiment. Now, for some of us in the external world, some of this might we might feel it is not true. I want to acknowledge that. Just remember, when we're doing this, we're talking about what I am cultivating for me. In this space here, in this space here, I am cultivating safety for me to be me. I am cultivating stability for me to be me. I am cultivating security for me to be me. And breathing that in, Breathing that out. In this visualization, I am releasing any attachments, any cords I see coming into my root chakra. Letting that go. Letting that go. Uh, what did we say? You ain't got to go home, but you can't stay here. So with love, compassion, and grace, I am releasing any cords that have come into my root chakra. This is my root chakra. I determine what is strong and safe, stable, secure. Any cords that I have sent out, I'm retracting now. I'm letting my root chakra spin as it needs to spin. And for me, what I like to visualize is the more it spins and it's releasing all excess crap, all the shit that gets attached to it because I'm in a society that is attached to identity commitments that don't work for me, I'm releasing, okay? I am releasing, I am letting go. Now with the root chakra, you will have some cords that come in because you might be responsible for children, for pets, for elderly parents, whatever. You might have responsibilities. What I have to say is uh, the only responsibility I have uh, other than myself is to my animal companion, Onyx. So I release all cords and then when Onyx needs to reconnect, I trust that Onyx will reconnect. And that is it. That's all that I allow. Okay. Next, I'm going to keep breathing that up into my sacral chakra, moving up to the second chakra, the sacral chakra. And I'm breathing in that earth energy that's fortifying my sacral chakra. Here, I think about it in terms of creativity, passions, sexuality, desires. I'm breathing in clarity. I'm breathing in a sense that I can lean into my creative self and use that as a means to express myself through my passions and desires in the world clearly. 
I can use this energy to get clarity on feelings and emotions that are getting housed in my body that I am experiencing in the outer world. I'm using Earth's energy to come in, and again, I'm, I'm visualizing this swirl, this swirl, and it's moving out any murkiness. And I, I like visualizing color, so I visualize orange of the sacral chakra. Also, at the sacral chakra is the water element. So I like to really visualize the flow of water and moving this out. It's almost like this swoosh, 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 and that spinning is whooshing and spinning out all the bullshit about what is created, what my creative self is allowed to do, can't do, any validation issues that I have around my creativity that in order for my creativity to be valid, I need likes, I need views, I need all this bullshit. No. I'm moving all that stuff out. I'm also thinking about the cords and attachments, right? Any cords coming in, releasing, return to sender with compassion and grace. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. And then I'm retracting any cords that I have sent out. Even if I sent them out with intention, <laughs> here for now, we're starting with a clean slate. If I need to send any energy out again, I'll do it with intention. So breathing in that sacral chakra energy. I am a writer. I am a writer. I move through my desires and my passions. I manifest through my creativity and my purpose. You're going to visualize and say what works for you. And keep moving the energy up. We're going to move into our solar plexus. And this is the chakra. Think uh, a couple fingertips above your belly button. Solar plexus, bright, bright yellow, powerhouse, powerhouse, powerhouse. This is where choice, free will, imminent power within sits and is located. So again, breathe in earth energy, spin that. Spin it around, release any cords coming in, retract any cords going out. I choose. I have free will. There's always choice before me. I have free will to make the choices that I want to make. I acknowledge that sometimes the choices before me suck and yet they are still choices. And through my power, I make the choice and I visualize and imagine and manifest additional choices that are more choices that I like. And within this space here, I get to choose. I have free will. And remember that when I'm interacting with the outer world. And that's the sense of like, the outer world might be giving me choices that I don't like. All the choices suck. In my inner world, I am not forgetting that I still get to choose from those sucky choices. And the son of us, are moving in my like, yep, choice, choice, choice. The soul's path that I'm on has a bit more privilege, a lot more privilege. I don't know your situation, so. But if you are moving in, in an energy of like your solar plexus is really vibrant, or you do have a lot of choice, a lot of free will, a lot of access. Be intentional to move with that with gratitude, more gratitude than guilt, more integrity and shame. What are you doing with all those choices that is aligned with your soul's path? So I'm building up that yellow. I'm getting rid of any murkiness. I'm really just had the thought right now, like, and I don't know if it's a line, but it's what came to me. I'm thinking of the sun card in tarot and the major arcana and just the, the brightness that is that card. And that's what I'm feeling out my solar plexus right now. Feel like smiling, smile. I just felt like smiling. So big grin on my lips right now. Keep moving that energy up, moving that energy up into center of the chest, heart space. Heart space, maybe a little bit, a little bit higher, I think. And this is when I start feeling really tender. My hand is at my chest and just sort of in a circular motion, giving the physical embodiment and the energy interaction there some love. I'm an empath. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I will fight you if I have to. It's not my first choice. I am the fuck around and find out generation. So I'm starting to move being on. So here in my heart space, I am already visualizing the green of the heart chakra. And for me at the heart chakra, given that I'm an empath and the soul's journey that I'm on, I usually start with releasing cords. 
<laughs> there's so many chords that come in so many chords that come in so many chords that i send out and sometimes you know it's within the construct it's in the matrix it's within the wounds that i have experienced in this lifetime so the daily or every other day chakra cleansing that i need to do to stay centered and cleared is really important particular for me at my heart center yours might be different you figure out what is the case for you so at the heart chakra i'm visualizing that green immediately i'm releasing any cores definitely with gently and with love any that are coming in from others any that i've sent out retracting those back ends and clearing and cleansing i move in the world with empathy with compassion with grace with divine unconditional love for myself and for others. I move in the world with the intention to do less harm to myself and to others. And breathing that in, really visualizing your really beautiful green. Actually seeing right now, I'm seeing a really beautiful, crisp, clean emerald green. And whenever I sit, different shades of different colors come up. We just go with that. So for the more advanced of us, I'm going to move us to just note, if you do work with your higher heart, also known as the thymus chakra, go ahead and activate that now and do whatever work you normally do with that. I want you to discern not everyone is ready to or does work with the higher heart, particularly if you are someone who's new at understanding your empathic self. It is next level and it's not about a hierarchy. I say this because your higher heart is where it is deep abundance of feelings and it can also be the place where childhood traumas are situated. And so I don't want to activate that for folks who are not used to doing that work. Don't do that. Don't do that unless you really want to, but this is for the folks who who are doing that work. So go ahead and see the, I see it as turquoise. And it's, it's that space between the heart chakra and the throat chakra. So just bring awareness to that. Do the work that you want to do there if you want to include it. And then we move up to the throat chakra. And this is voice. This is my voice. And this is my integrity in listening and in communicating in reciprocity. So really making sure that I'm activating my truest authentic voice, my truth, what I sense and see and want to say while also listening to others, not listening to others to convince them of my way, but listening to others to hear their way. Doesn't mean I agree, doesn't mean I'm gonna go with it, but it does mean I'm gonna make space for it and hopefully be in conversation, in communication in my eye, in my eye, my throat chakra. I spend a lot of time at my heart and my throat chakra because of my past, uh, my past lives and my current life requires that. So again, you need to do what's for you. I visualize the release of so many chords, <laughs> so many chords, chords coming in particularly from past lives and letting those go. It sometimes takes layers and layers and layers, letting it go any chords I've sent out because I have not believed in my voice or have silenced myself, I'm retracting that. And using earth energy to cleanse and clear and creating that beautiful, beautiful blue color in whatever, in this particular sit, whatever hue of blue I might want. In this moment, I'm seeing actually really beautiful, deep, 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 um, what blue that is it's like uh i don't even know it's just blue <laughs> it's just really really blue it's not a sky it's a little bit deeper than a sky blue it's interesting but it feels good it feels comforting and i'll let that swirl around a bit i'll let that swirl around a bit and i my intention is to grow from my throat chakra to speak and hear truth, to speak and hear with integrity, to communicate with integrity. My authentic voice. Now I'm gonna move up to my third eye and at my third eye, my brow chakra. This for me is my, I see and sense 
through my intuition, through the divine. I see and sense I'm fostering my senses, my clear senses, and my visual seeing beyond what the matrix has offered, that only that which one sees with the eyes is what's real, letting that cord go, releasing that. Nope. I see and sense all that is before me. I see and sense all that is before me, whether it is in the material or not. And even in the material, I see between the lines. And I'm doing that not as a gotcha to other people, I'm doing that as a sense in my eye that I can move from the clarity of my divine voice. I can move from the clarity of my intuition, my deep relationship with the divine feminine in balance with the divine masculine so that my head, my mind is the servant of my heart, my heart chakra and my higher heart. Releasing those cords, seeing that indigo. It's interesting, you know, that my throat chakra must be right now, must be really connected, connecting to my higher heart, which makes sense because I'm walking you all. all right, there is it. There it is. I'm walking you all through this process. And I think that's why my throat chakra was a little bit deeper blue, moving into more of an indigo aligned with my third eye, my brow. Oh, thank you, Spirit, for showing me that. Thank you. Releasing cords, coming in or going out. Past life, this life, all lives. And then up into the crown, moving into my crown. No crown. Swirly, swirly, swirly. Now my crown, a lot of people say it's violet that you see. I vacillate between violet, silver, and gold. Like sometimes if when I first step into my crown, I'll see gold. Then other times I'll see silver. And sometimes I'll actually push myself to see violet. I don't know why I do that. I might just because of conditioning. But right now I'm actually seeing a swirl of gold, silver, and violet. So I'm just going to let that swirl. And this is at the crown chakra is a sense of knowing. I know I am connected to the divine. I know I'm connected to the source. And we already did our branches. So we're definitely connected to source or home planet, what have you. But this is a knowing. I know my truth. I know my truth. I step into my truth. I know that I am one with, with God, Goddess, Allah, Buddha, Muhammad, Kuan Yin, whatever wording you use, the wording you use does not matter here. And I'm letting that swirl, I'm letting that swirl. And for me, the crown, I really just let that energy fall. I like to visualize sort of like, again, inner sparklers, <laughs> inner sparklers, inner fireworks. That's just that earth energy. It's almost like earth energy gets so happy once it gets to the crown to be able to mix. It's in the cosmos with the energy of the cosmos because it is all one. Okay. We're going to sit in that for a moment. We're going to take through the three breaths that we've been taking, but just really sitting in what you just cultivated. This clean, clear, activated chakra energy from your earth star to your soul star and just feel that speed twirling and turning throughout your material and ethereal experience. Now, when I'm doing this on my own, I would say I, it feels good, even though I've been talking to y'all. It feels good. I would sit here for a while. Honestly, personally, I would sit in this for a bit before we move on. But in the interest of this YouTube episode, I'm going to move forward. But when you do it on your own, if you're feeling as good as I'm feeling right now, like I, I would sit in that for as long as I have time to sit in it. And then after that, the last thing we're going to do is sort of the... It's the part that I always say, fuck, I'm going to find out. Like, in the playful way of, like, let's do this. Every time I've done this particular part, different things have occurred in terms of me as an artist, and it helps with my creativity and what I do next. So, you've got yourself flowing. 
you are offering the gift of earth being connected to the cosmos, cosmos being connected to the earth, and it is all flowing through you, right? It's flowing through you. You can visualize your crown branches are going up all the way through, like there's no end to it, right? And your roots are going through the earth, connecting and then possibly even growing through the earth all the way to the other side and into the cosmos. And so there's just like this never ending reciprocity of energy flowing through you. You are the beautiful conduit for this. So now I want you to realize your root chakra, right? And feel out its centermost point. From that centermost point of your root chakra, imagine an energetic filament reaching and growing out from left to right side. Let your intuition and your inner knowing be your guide. You're going to visualize it coming out side of your root chakra and support this filament as it creates an energetic circle around and up to your crown chakra's ceremonial point. You're allowed to spin clockwise or counter. I trust my energetic body to choose its desired direction. It's not always the same, but it's, it's spinning and that energy is coming through and comes out the other side of my crown chakra and that second filament begins to reach out and grow on the other side of the crown chakra and circles back to the centermost point of my root chakra and it creates this sphere for the crown and the root to flow cosmic and earth energy and then i'll sit in this flow for as long as i feel moved so i want you to do the same thing sit in this flow for as long as you feel so moved you can consider repeating any root or crown chakra affirmations from your cleansing, charging, centering process. And just really in this moment, you want to move from a balanced eye of mind and eye of heart state and let your intuitive self decide what you need and want in that moment of flowing energy between your root and your crown chakra. Next, visualize your sacral chakra and fill out its centermost point. From the centermost point of your sacral chakra, imagine an energetic filament reaching, growing from the left or right side. Again, let your intuition and inner knowing be your guide. Support this filament as it creates an energetic circle around and up to your third eye chakra's centermost point. Allow it to spin clockwise or counter. Trust your energetic body to choose the direction that it wants. And that second filament begins to reach out and grow on the other side of your third eye and circles back to the centermost point to the other side of your sacral, right? So this is creating a sphere between your third eye and your sacral chakra to flow cosmic and earth energy. Sit in this flow for as long as you feel so moved. Consider repeating third eye or sacral chakra affirmations. And just really sit in this from a balanced eye of mind and eye of heart state. And let your intuitive self decide what you need and want in this moment. Next, from the centermost point of your solar plexus, chakra, imagine an energy filament growing from its left or right side. Support this filament as it creates an energetic circle around and up to the throat chakra's centermost point. Allow it to spin clockwise or counterclockwise. Trust your energetic body to choose the desired direction. And that second filament begins to reach out and grow out of the other side of your throat chakra and circles back to the centermost point to the other side of your solar plexus chakra. This creates a sphere for the throat and the solar plexus to flow cosmic and earth energy. Sit in this flow for as long as you feel so moved. You can consider repeating throat and solar plexus chakra affirmations here to really move in deep in any healing that is needed or wanted here. Move from a balanced eye of mind and eye of heart state and let your intuitive self decide what you need and want in the moment.
Next, we're gonna move to our heart chakra. I want you to visualize your heart chakra. So first is for folks who are not currently doing work with your higher heart, your thymus chakra, visualize the heart chakra. Think of an access point that I call eye of the heart, right? The centermost point of your heart. And it's kind of where, it's kind of like an energetic meeting place between your throat and your heart. And from there, imagine energy flowing, energetic filaments forming and mapping a distinct and large infinity pattern. Well, infinity pattern looks like a elongated eight. And whether it's flowing clockwise or counterclockwise, trust your energetic body to choose the de desired direction. Imagine that you're flowing cosmic and earth energy through your heart center and using that eye of your heart center point as the place in the center of the infinity symbol. And it's really connecting your throat and your heart chakra at that centermost point. And you're moving, flowing cosmic and earth energy through your heart center using that, that affinity symbol. You can consider repeating heart chakra operations here. And again, move from a balanced eye of heart and eye of mind state. Let your intuitive self decide what you need and what you want in that moment. And sit in this flow for as long as you feel so moved. Now for folks who are doing higher heart work, thymus chakra work, you're gonna actually do the same thing with the infinity sign but you're gonna connect your thymus chakra, that higher heart chakra, with your heart chakra. And you're gonna connect it through this affinity sign. And for you, what you're gonna do is one side of that affinity sign, visualize pink, and that's gonna be the energy that's coming from the higher heart chakra. And the other side, you're gonna visualize green, and that's the energy coming from your heart chakra. And you're gonna visualize the energy flowing and the the trigger point of where the color changes is at the center of the affinity symbol so every time it flows you're flowing around the loop you're coming down it's green and then it hits that center point it turns pink and it flows down it's flowing pink comes around and then it, it, it's a trigger point it turns green so whatever flow is working for you whatever intuitive sense of coloring is coming will work for you i use pink and green but really it could be whatever's flowing for you whatever works for you whatever colors you need i've been taught that when my imagination uh, my higher self gives me a particular color to step into it and then see what i feel because there's learning there's a message and not for you in that moment And so once all of this is flowing, take a moment to really understand what's happening here energetically for you. You have a full, beautiful, perfect circle flowing between your root and your crown, between your sacral and your third eye, and between your solar plexus and your throat. And you have an affinity symbol flowing at the heart, either just at your heart and sort of the lower bottom of your throat or between your heart and your higher heart. Let that energy flow. Let it flow. And like at this point, we've cleared and cleansed anything. So now it's just laying. It's just being in this energy. This is inward facing portaling. You don't necessarily have to go out into the moon or into the sun or into the stars to connect with the moon, the sun, and the stars. You can go in to come out. And that's what I really love. This, it's a way for me to connect to earth and myself, the gift of the chance to be human, even with all the things that I've had to experience in this lifetime, that now I am a healing healer. And even as sometimes it's really hard and I'm like, fuck this. Oh, and I yell at the universe and I get mad. And I'm wondering why. 
then there's moments like this where I remember why. So I'll sit in this for as long as I can or I, as long as I feel so moved. Now, whether it's timing or just it's come to an end, whether it's construct timing or divine timing, and I have to close this, I will say thank you to Earth, to Cosmos, to Self. I will say thank you to any energies that came in, planetary, stars, ancestors, guides, guardians, angels. I will visualize gold protection that is just sparkling all around me. Sometimes it sprinkles down into my auric field, onto my embodiment. I just, I've gotten to a point where I like to just visualize, like I kind of move with a fog of gold, sparkly crystals around me at all times. And I set that in. I set that in place. I say thank you. Close with whatever prayer you choose. I often close with as above, so below, as within, so without, as the universe, so the soul. So shall it be, so it is. Ashe. Move about my day or my night or whatever. So thank you so much for sharing this with me. Thank you for choosing to fuck around and find out. <laughs> Uh, I hope this was as fun for you as it was for me. I did all the talking and I still feel cleansed, cleared, centered, charged. Oh, so thank you. And until we meet again, be well. Here on YouTube, Rooted Cosmic Soul offers transmuting the I insight session collective readings in which we engage one out of 16 intentionally designed and divined layouts for the collective session. If you'd like to learn more and or schedule a one-on-one -on -one insight session, links can be found in the description. Also, Ruta Cosmic Soul offers story time, offering high vibration storytelling via original magical reality fiction, and alignment time, offering considerations for spiritual care grounded in the concepts of transmuting the eye. The best way to engage and to know when we post is by subscribing to the Rooted Cosmic Soul channel. You are deeply appreciated. Thank you for spending time with us. Infinite love and gratitude.